Welcome to Photomorph, a Google Slides add-on for morphing photographs or fake morphing because it's not real morphing. So let's start a new project. So this is the new morph project dialog. You first set the size of the GIF. Keep it small, GIFs tend to be large. Then you select your first photo. You can select from your hard drive, Google Drive, from the web, use your webcam if you have one, or select from your Google Photos. Or you can just drag an image or photo into this dialog. And that is what I'm going to do. We're going to drag first one photo, and then I'm going to drag in a second photo. And you can add as many as you want. I'm going to use three photos for my morph project here and then I just say create project and the designer opens. To the left you have the designer part and to the right here you have the preview part. You can see how the three photos are morphing one, two, three. You can do a lot of things here. You can add uh, text and other things to the images but if you are uh, ready you can just say set slide background or insert the GIF image onto the current slide. So let's do that first. That opens the generate GIF dialog and now we'll have to create the GIF and that takes a while. Here is the GIF. I can right click it if I just want to use this GIF somewhere else or I say insert image that will first save the morph project to your G drive so you can reuse it later and then the image is inserted into the slide and there it is so back in the designer uh, other things you can do here is as I mentioned you can manipulate the photos in this case I'm gonna drag in a call out like this and make this young lady say something hi uh, other things you can do is you can go to uh, the document properties and change the how long the transition is now it's 50% of the frame time let's go to 100% and you will see the it's a continuous transition go back to 50 I can also choose another transition like push or slide and I can change the direction Uh, one more thing in this demo, if you want to use your photos as backgrounds, sometimes it's better to make them a little bit more subtle, so you can use the different effects here. You can blur and grayscale. Let's grayscale this one and go through these three images and grayscale them. And then we'll of course go back to this button here and I say set slide background generate the GIF the, uh, and when that's done the image is sent to Google Slide as the background. So here is the uh, animated GIF as a slide background. That concludes this demo. I hope you will find this add-on useful. Please let us know. Thank you.